In this research, what's important is to understand how little force is required to cause a ceremonial sword to penetrate the chest and cause a lethal wound. On average, we saw less than 50 newtons, okay? We're talking just a few pounds, equivalent to picking up a one liter carton of milk. That's how much load it takes to cause that injury. The reason is, is because we're looking at a relationship between force and pressure, and don't confuse the two, because pressure is force divided by the cross-sectional area. And we all know that the point of a ceremonial sword is very, very sharp, has a very low cross-sectional area, allowing that sword to penetrate the chest. And this is not like any other type of wound. In order to cause this lethality, it has to be precise, okay, over the heart, for example, which is why I see some people getting stabbed 30 times and others getting stabbed once. But it's also important to understand it's not like a gunshot at all. In the case of a gunshot wound, it's moving so fast that there is a very large pressure differential now inside the body that causes what we call a temporary cavity, okay, which involves a lot of surrounding tissue, stretching it, deforming it, in order to cause a much larger injury for a single wound path. And that's why guns are more effective than blades. And that's what's important in this research.